Hey guys, it's finally happening. The Pixel 6 is going to kill the iPhone 13 this year. Now you might be thinking, how is that freaking possible? Well, all the leaks so far are definitely pointing towards this happening. So let's start with the very first leak. Now last year, it was rumored that Google is working on its own custom SoC for using in its hardware. And this year, it's finally going to happen. Now, the custom SoC is codenamed Whitechapel and is being manufactured by Samsung on a 5 nanometer process. Another thing that points towards Google using their own chipset is their name not appearing in the list of manufacturers that are indeed planning to use Snapdragon chipsets. Now, if Google does end up using their own chip, it means they will have the same level of hardware and software integration as Apple, which is definitely going to be a great thing. Now, Google also released Android 12 Developers Preview 1 last week, and it gave us a lot of hints as to what we can expect from the Pixel 6. The very first thing is the Pixel 6 having both Face Unlock and Fingerprint Unlock. Now, Google did introduce Face Unlock in the Pixel 4, but they ended up ditching that last year in the Pixel 5 in favor of a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner. Now, if the rumors are to be believed, the Pixel 6 will be the first phone in the smartphone industry to have a very secure face unlock as well as a fingerprint unlock. Now, talking about the fingerprint unlock, Android 12 finally added native support for under-display fingerprint scanners. Now, you know what that means. That basically means Pixel 6 will also have an under-display fingerprint scanner just like OnePlus and Samsung which is definitely a great thing to have. Now, manufacturers like OnePlus and Samsung have their own version of a one-handed mode, but Google finally added native support to that as well with Android 12 developers preview. Now, this is definitely fueling speculations that an Excel model is on the way, and people are really pumped about it because last year we only got the Pixel 5 and no Pixel 5 Excel. Other than that, we haven't had any major leaks about the design or the cameras, but if you know Google, there are plenty of leaks coming in the next month or so. Now here are my predictions for the phone. Uh, I wouldn't call these predictions, but it's basically my wish list. Now if Google indeed end up using some of these in the Pixel 6, it's definitely going to be a great success this year. Otherwise, Google is going to break our hearts again, just like they do every year. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. That makes me happy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.